Mohammed Amir in the Champions Trophy final, Trent Bolt in the 2019-50 over World Cup, Shahin Shah Afridi in the 2021 T20 World Cup match, Reese Topley in the just-concluded ODI series in England. They must have a real problem against left-arm pace. From punters to pundits, everyone has concluded. They just probably need to improve how they play left-arm seam, uh, you know, going forward. Yeah. But do they now? Or is it just a cognitive bias because we only remember what we perceive to be big matches? Since the start of the 2017 Champions Trophy, no one averages better than India's 31.74 in all international cricket. It's cheating, you might say. Don't include tests, we are talking limited overs here. Alright then, over the same period, India have the best average against left-arm pace in ODIs and that too at a competitive run rate. In T20Is, their 7.84 an over is nearly a run and over slower against the quickest team against left-arm pace, but only England and New Zealand average better than India. No, no, you have shifted the goalposts again. We are talking about the new moving ball. OK, here goes. In the power plays of ODIs over this period, India's average drops to the fourth best at a cautious run rate of under 5 and over. In T20Is, they are placed squarely in the middle of the table with an average of around 30 and a run rate of around 7 and over. I'll tell you an open secret. The new ball doesn't move for long. So to examine your point further, let's narrow down even more to the first six overs of ODIs and the first three overs of T20Is. In the first six overs of ODIs, no team averages better than India, but they go at a slow pace. In the first three overs of T20Is, the average of 21.89 is better than only West Indies and their net run rate is the worst. Let's look at individual numbers in T20 of the four India batters who bat the most in this period. Rahul averages a whopping 71.5 against left-arm pace in T20 cricket since 2017 which is 20 more than his overall average against pace. Dhawan's average on both counts looks pretty and is consistent, while Kohli and Rohit average lower against left-arm seam. As far as scoring rates go, all four of them are slower against left-arm pace compared to how they go about against all forms of pace, with Rohit and Kohli slowing down considerably more against left-arm pace. You might say this doesn't point out to a struggle, which is true, since aggregate numbers include a lot of rubbish bowling. So, our stats wizard Shiva Jayaraman looked at how many times these batters have fallen to left-arm pace when dismissed for less than 20 runs in T20s and ODIs. This percentage for Dhawan Kohli and Rohit is way more than the average considering all batters since June 2017, which might or might not be such a bad thing. If they are getting out early, they are not wasting balls, and their overall numbers suggest when they get in, they cash in. There may be something to suggest that India are not very comfortable against left-arm seam, but no hard evidence to suggest they fare much worse than other teams. Then again, there is a sample size of some high-profile matches where India have failed, and that will stick to public memory. It just gets magnified when you are India.